Hello everyone. Welcome back to this uh, new video. So in the previous videos we had left out with the uh, one uh, interrelationship concept. Okay, we have done one concept related to z parameters. Uh, we have represented z parameters in terms of all other three parameters that is y, h and t parameters, right in our previous video. In this video we are kind of z parameter part is done. Now we are going to represent y parameters in terms of all other three that is z, h and t. Okay, in exam they would be asking any one of them. Okay, any one parameter in terms of any one parameter they would be asking. So here totally we are having 12 combination of parameters. We have seen in one in, in the first video z parameters in terms of all other three that becomes three questions. So here we have y parameters in terms of all other three that becomes three. Then here for all, uh, the rest of other two also three three. So three plus three plus three plus three is twelve. Totally twelve kind of questions I'm going to I'm solving using uh, in these kind of videos okay any one or two might be coming in the exam so be thorough with that so we are going to discuss now y parameters okay so here I've written the equation set of equations for y parameters so now first let us represent in terms of z parameters okay so I've told you one note right if you remember in my previous video y parameters in terms of z parameters and z parameters in terms of y parameters we should be solving this using Cramer's rule only it it is applicable for only these two kind of combinations so I've told you in a previous video okay so write the set of equation for z parameters that is v1 is equal to z11 i1 plus z12 i2 then v2 is equal to z21 i1 plus z22 i2 okay apply Cramer's rule now before that uh, represent this in a matrix form v1 v2 is equal to z11 z12 z21 z22 and here we have i1 i2 right now apply Cramer's rule that is first here now we are representing the current now because in the last last problem we have represented voltage because we are finding y parameters right so i1 is equal to first v1 and v2 in the first determinant of v1 v2 and here the second element that is z12 and z22 divided by delta z that is determinant of z right so solve this now i1 is equal to solve this determinant cross multiply we would be getting z22 v1 minus z12 v2 whole divided by delta z so split the terms that is z22 v1 by delta z minus z12 v2 by delta z so i1 is equal to now separately write the coefficients z22 by delta z into v1 minus z12 by delta z into v2 okay so here compare this with the first equation that is i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 right so y11 value what we are getting in terms of z parameter as z22 by delta z right similarly y12 we are getting it as minus z12 by delta z okay so two of the combinations are done y11 and y12 is done now again apply Cramer's rule now consider i2 okay that is i2 would be equal to determinant of now the first row elements that is z11 and z21 as it is and here here we should be writing v1 and v2 divided by delta z okay so solve this again i2 is equal to cross multiply determinant right z11 v2 minus z21 v1 divided by delta z so i2 is equal to z11 by delta z i am writing it together v2 minus z21 by delta z v1 right so compare it with the second equation what we have i2 is equal to y21 v1 and here y22 v2 so the value of y21 is equal to minus z21 by delta z and the value of y22 is equal to z11 by delta z okay so one combination is done i have represented y parameters in terms of z parameters all the values y11 y12 
y21 y22 applying cramer's rule you have done so one is done so now next is y parameters in terms of h parameters now okay now we are going to compare the equation and solve it which i have already done in the previous video i have told you how to do that again we are going to do the same thing here first write the equation set of h parameters that is v1 is equal to h11 i1 plus h12 v2 then i2 is equal to h21 i1 plus h22 v2 right name this as equation 1 and equation 2 so now what i have told first step we should be checking for common variables for these two set of equations which set of equation are having common variables so compare equation 1 first equation and first equation here here we have i1 v1 v2 and here we have i1 v1 v2 so these two are having same variables so if you compare equation 2 and second equation if you compare i2 v1 v2 here we have i2 i2 and v2 we have but in place of v1 we have i1 so this two of com these two pair of combinations are not possible the first equation of this pair and the first equation of this pair combination is possible since they are having same set of equal variables that is i1 is there v1 is there and v2 is also there so now we should be considering equation 1 so equation 1 how it can be written as in this equation how it is written i1 is in one side right we, since we are representing in terms of y parameters so i1 term should be in one side so in this equation we put i1 term in one side that is this term should be keeping it in one side that is h11 i1 is equal to v1 and this you bring it to other side that is minus h12 v2 right now again i1 is equal to divide h11 for this whole equation so that is 1 by h11 v1 minus h12 by h11 v2 okay so this is one set of equation name it as equation 3 so if we compare i1 is equal to y11 v1 plus y12 v2 the value of y11 is equal to 1 by h11 right and the value of y12 is equal to minus h12 by h11 okay two of the combinations are done y11 and y12 are done next step is i have told you right this equation 3 the value of i1 we should be substituting in which equation we have not considered since we have considered equation 1 and solved this we cannot be substituting the value of 1 back in the same equation so now this value of i1 substitute in equation 2 that is put equation 3 in equation 2 so what is equation 2 i2 is equal to h21 and the value of i1 is v1 by h11 minus h12 v2 by h11 plus h22 v2 right now solve multiply h21 in this term that is what we will be getting h21 divided by h11 v1 then minus h21 h12 divided by h11 into v2 plus h22 v2 here we are having v2 v2 common group the coefficients that is let us do it in the next step i2 is equal to h21 by h11 v1 then we have plus h22 minus h21 h12 divided by h11 into v2 now solve this part here i2 is equal to h21 by h11 v1 plus multiply h22 h11 minus h21 h12 whole divided by h11 v2 and if you observe here first we have like terms are having positive sign unlike terms 2 1 1 2 are having negative sign so this would be equal to delta h right so i2 is equal to h21 
एच वन वन बी वन प्लस डेल्टा एच डिवाइडेड बाई एच वन वन इन टू बी टू सो दिस इज द फाइनल इक्वेशन हियर इफ यू कंपेयर आई टू इज वाई टू वन बी वन प्लस वाई टू टू बी टू द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई टू वन इज इक्वल टू एच टू वन बाई एच वन वन एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई टू टू इज इक्वल टू डेल्टा एच बाई एच वन वन राइट वी हैव सॉल्व फॉर ऑल द फोर वैल्यूज वाई टू वन वाई टू टू वाई वन वन वाई वन टू इन टर्म्स ऑफ एच पैरामीटर सो दिस इज क्लियर सो नाउ वी हैव लेफ्ट विद वन मोर काइंड वन मोर पैरामीटर दैट इज वाई पैरामीटर्स इन टर्म्स ऑफ टी पैरामीटर्स और ए बी सी डी पैरामीटर्स राइट so write the equations of t parameters b1 is equal to a b2 minus b i2 right then i1 is equal to c v2 minus d i2 name it as equation 1 and equation 2 okay so here now again i have told you to compare the uh, the variable should be the same okay In this case, let us first compare equation two now. Here we have i one, v two, i two, and here in the second equation we have. Okay, first consider the first equation only. i one, v two, i two, i one, v two. But in place of i two we have v one, so that that combination is not possible. Now check check the second equation. What we have i one, v two, i two, and here we have i, v two we have, i one and. Uh, I two are not uh, I two is there, but uh, in place of I one we have V one, so that's also not possible. Now consider equation one here and first equation here. V one V two, sorry, I one V two I two, right? This is the second first equation here. Uh, let's consider first equation that is V one V two I two, and here we have V one V two in place of I two we have I one, so that's also not possible. Now we have left with equation one and this equation, second equation, that is we have V one. V two I two and here also we have V one V two I two. That is now the equation one of this and the second equation of the this that is y parameters are matching. They are having the same variables. So now what we should be doing? We should be considering equation one and equation two of this case. So now. Here we have i two in one side, right? So equation one, we should be taking the i two term in one side. That is minus b i two is equal to v one minus a v two. So in order to eliminate this negative sign, uh, multiply a minus sign to this whole term, that would be becoming b i two is equal to minus v one plus a v two. Okay, now. Multiply b, sorry, divide b to this whole equation. That would be minus one by b into v one minus a by b into v two. So this is our first equation. Name it as equation three. So compare it with the y parameter equation y two. So that is equal to this is y two one and y two two. So y two one is equal to minus one by b. And y two two is equal to minus a by b, right? Sorry, sir, this is minus sign, right? Yeah, yeah, it's correct. This is minus a by b. Okay, correct, correct. Y two one and y two two is done. Now we have left with two more. That is uh, y one one and y one two. That is. This equation now I two we are going to substitute in the equation which I have not considered that is equation two that is put three equation three in equation two what is equation two I one is equal to C V two minus D into I two what is the value of I two minus V one by B minus A V two by B. That is I one is equal to C V two and multiply D here minus minus plus D by B V one. Then we have minus minus plus again A D by B V two. So I one is equal to D by B V one and V two V two is 
d by b v1 and here v2 v2 is common then take the coefficients one side that is c plus a d by b into v2 now solve this i1 is equal to d by b v1 plus multiply here what we'll be getting b c plus a d by b b c plus a d by b into v2 now represent in terms of t parameters because we need to here we have b c plus a d so it should be confusing so d is equal to t22 and b is equal to t12 b1 plus b is t12 c is t21 plus a is t11 and d is t22 divided by t12 into v2 all right so if you observe here very carefully so i have made one mistake i guess here yeah this is plus okay yeah here we we have taken plus right so this is plus so this would be plus a by b okay this is v1 plus right so yeah this is plus a by b this would be plus again so minus into plus this is minus now so here we would be getting minus so here also we would be getting minus okay so make that correction okay i have made one mistake yeah so now if you compare here in in place of unlike terms we have positive sign in place of like terms we have negative sign so i have told you right it is a reciprocal so we should the answer is minus delta t now not plus delta t because here we should be having minus sign and here we should be having plus sign so that's why this is now minus delta t so i1 is equal to now again replace it d by b v1 plus minus delta t by b v2 so this is the set of equation this is y11 y12 so y11 is equal to d by b y12 is equal to minus delta t by b okay yeah so this is done we have represented y parameters in terms of all the other three parameters that is uh, z t and h okay so in the next session we are going to discuss h parameters in terms of y z and t parameters okay so that's all for this session guys like this video share this video to a huge number thank you